This is Charles. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Did he date a convicted serial killer? Did he propose to his ex-fiance with a fake diamond ring? Or did he pay for college by dancing at a gay bar? We'll open up this bag and many, many more coming up on Baggage. Right now, let's meet our dater. He's a fireworks distributor from Mobile, Alabama. Please welcome Charles. We have got three beautiful women for you. She's an entrepreneur from Rutlands, California. Meet Annabeth. Hi, Charles. I'm a wine lover, and like a Pinot Gris, I can be light and refreshing, but I also have a dark and mysterious side, like a good Cabernet. Just say hello to Deanna. Hi, Charles. I'm smart, driven, ambitious. I've written three books, I have three college degrees, and if you pick me, I will open up your mind like you can never imagine. Give it up for Lara. Hi, Charles, I'm fun, easygoing, and very optimistic. I buy lottery tickets every day, and I'm due for a big win very soon. As you can see, these ladies brought a small, medium, and large bag, each hiding a personal secret, otherwise known as their baggage. Ladies, it is time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. I do a nasal rinse every day. It cleans everything out. You don't have to worry about having a bat in the cave. I only eat raw food. I don't want it to be an issue where it's like we can't go to a steakhouse and things like that, but maybe they have good asparagus or something. <laughs> I have an 8 p.m. bedtime. Movies don't even start till like 7, 7.30, and have I got you snoring and drooling on my shoulder while I'm watching a film, and am I gonna have to carry you home? This is what we call the deal break around. Here in front of me are the ladies' medium-sized bags. They're placed here randomly, so Charles won't know which bag belongs to which woman. Once he decides what his deal breaker is, the woman who claims that bag will be going home. Bag number one. I have terrible PMS. <laughs> Bag number two. I take my cat to a pet psychic. Bag number three. Oh. I've dated two thousand men I met online. Has this been a dating situation, or is this just, hey, I'm out for drinks and coffee? This next one, I take my cat to a pet psychic. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Here we go. I have terrible PMS. I've never had PMS, but I have heard about sharp objects being thrown. My deal breaker is the woman that has terrible PMS. Oh! <laughs> Anna Beth, anything you'd like to say? Well, Charles, you made a big mistake because I have PMS right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, honestly, I just get, um, I'll get sad all of a sudden and cry. I'm sorry, Annabeth. It's great having you with us, but it's time to pack up and go. Okay. Thank you. Your concern about Deanna here, who has met 2,000 guys online. Right. It's a concern of what happened offline. It took 11 years to meet this many people. And yes, they were all, almost all, very short, sweet tea dates just for introductions. And what you don't know is I authored the very first book on internet dating. And I followed it up with a second book. So most of all of those were interviews as well. And Lara, you take your cat to a pet psychic. 
your concern about this? Are you gonna need a psychic to ask your cat to ask if I'm the guy you should be with? Ladies, it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. I cheated on my boyfriend while he was in a coma. Well, stay alert. We had talked about breaking up, and then he was hit by a car, sadly. I did stay with him to nurture him and take care of him. I did move on, and it's not something that I practice. I'm very honest and faithful. I slept with my landlord to get cheaper rent. I, I need some explanation of that one. I understand your concern. It was a long time ago, not my current landlord. She's lovely, but I'm not into that. It is time to choose. Will it be Deanna, who only eats raw food, dated 2,000 men she met online, and who cheated on a boyfriend while he was in a coma? <laughs> or will it be Lara, who has an 8 p.m. bedtime, takes her cat to a pet psychic, and who slept with her landlord to get cheaper rent. <laughs> Charles, send one of these ladies packing. I'm sorry. Larry, you have too much baggage for me. Lara, anything you'd like to say? I think that you've made the wrong choice. We could have had a lot of fun. And congratulations, Deanna and Charles. What's the secret in Charles's big red bag? Did he date a convicted serial killer? Did he propose to his ex-fiance with a fake diamond ring? Or did he pay for college by dancing at a gay bar? Well, all three are tough to accept. However, the first one about dating a serial killer, I think that's kind of bad judgment, and I'm more worried about my own safety. Charles, please open your bag. Oh! I dated a convicted serial killer. I basically dated a woman for almost two months, and I didn't know her very well. We went out maybe five or six times during a two-month period, but she was always busy. Long story short, she's a convicted serial killer who's in a mental institution right to this day. So when does she get out? <laughs> she doesn't. And never? Well, let me say, I'm really glad you're still here. Can you accept his baggage? Well, it, it is tough. However, with everything else I've learned about him right now, I think I can accept his baggage. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, we've got a romantic dinner plan for you guys. I'm sure you'll have a great time. And uh, remember, love blooms when we accept each other's baggage. We'll see you next time.